What's going on YouTube? Today we have a brand new video with the Slifer Red Slackers. It's going to be Shine Greymon versus Blue Imperial Dramon. And Blue Imperial Dramon wins the dice roll, so he'll be going first. I think Shine Greymon is one of the decks that we yet have not shown on the channel. So let's see how the Shine Greymon deck plays today. Digivolves into Gomomon. And then he digivolves into Frigimon for two. Oh, he plays a Rise Greymon. Guess he didn't open with a rookie. He moves up to Frigimon. Swings the security with Frigimon. Then he plays Pyodramon for three. Leaving his opponent at one memory. Digivolves to Patamon in the nursing area. He digivolves for his level 5 Angel Woman, giving Pyodramon security minus 2 until the end of next turn. Digivolves for Vimon. Digivolves for Gorillamon for 1. And he digivolves for Dino Vimon. Seems like that Angel Woman was a very good play, preventing him from taking any further damage from Pyodramon the previous turn. He moves Patamon. Patamon's going to allow him to reveal the top four, and if there's any tamers among them, he got all of them to his hand. Unfortunately, that was not the case. There was not a single tamer. He swings with Pyodramon. And he swings with Dino Vimon. He leaves his opponent at two security, while he still continues to have all five of his securities. And he hard casts a uh, Vimon. He's been swinging with nothing but jammers, so hasn't lost a single Digimon to a security check. Digivolves for Patamon. Digivolves into Unimon, leaving his opponent one memory, and also ending his turn by playing a blocker. Digivolves for Elegmon. Swings with Pyodramon. Hits a Kyrie. Draws off the Inheritance. Swings with Dino Beamon. Draws off the Inheritance again. He could swing with Vimon, but it's obviously going to be blocked. Though I don't think Rise Greymon could come out of this one. Did you evolve into Gorillamon? I believe this is the end of game one. Hammer Spark plays another Elecmon, leaves his opponent at one. Kyrie is going to move him up to two since he's under less than three securities. Plays Rise Greymon. Goes for Shine Greymon. We finally see him. But unfortunately, there's not enough Tamers. So he was only able to pop one.
Swings with Dino Beamon, and that's definitely game. It's on to game two now. So Blue got the first game. Let's see who's going to get the second game. Let's see if it'll be 2-0 or uh, we'll go to game three. Really interested in the Shining Grim on deck. I heard a lot of good things about it. Supposedly, it's supposed to be the, I guess, one of the meta decks for this format. Shining Grim is a really big threat, you know. All the tamers and being able to blow everything up on the field is like having an Omnimon, technically. But even better, I guess. You know, they have a tamer that no matter where they're at, if they're less than three um, security, it puts them at, gives them a really huge advantage because it puts them at one more memory depending on how many of those tamers they have, how many Kyries they have. And then they also even have the Shining Grim on effect that depending how many tamers they have, they can suspend the tamers to technically blow stuff up on the field, which is... Pretty amazing. If you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what a dark hole is. Technically, Shining Greymon is a dark hole with walking legs that could attack as well. So let me know what you think about the Shining Greymon stuff. And I guess put it on the comment below. How good do you think it really is? So he already started off with a TK and he started off by digivolving into an Agumon. Blue player started by digivolving into Gomoan. And now he plays um, Davis for for memory. Unfortunately, he only gets to add one because he didn't get a green and a, and a blue. He only got a blue. Moves up the Agumon. He digivolves into Unimon. Makes a rise Greymon. And then he puts down a Kyrie. Well, I think we know what this means. Shine Greymon is coming up next. Even though there's not much on the field for Shine Greymon to blow up, and there's not that many tamers either. Makes a Frigimon. It's gonna swing with Frigimon. He's gonna summon an Alecmon. Passing his turn, leaving his opponent at one security. Unfortunately, Kyrie's effect is not going to activate because he has four security instead of three. He's going to swing a Rise Greymon at Frigimon. Killing the Frigimon. And then he's going to Digivolve into Slash Angevon, killing the Elecmon as well. Going to Digivolve into Vmon. Going to digivolve into Grizzlymon. And then he's going to digivolve into Pyodramon. Sorry. Passing the turn, leaving his opponent at two memory. Kyrie's effect doesn't activate because he's still at four security, unfortunately. Can activate another TK. That means every Digimon in his security is going to gain 2,000 DP for every TK. So that means 4,000 DP. Going to swing with Slash Andromon, doing security plus two. And Andromon. Well, Slash Angerman still survives. He's going to move out the Pyodramon. Then he's going to Digivolve into Imperial Dramon, the green one. If he swings with Imperial Dramon, a Slash Angerman, he's going to do piercing, so he's still going to do the security check. At the same time, I'm taking out one of his Digimons. Unfortunately, he hits Rise Greymon, and thanks to both TKs, he's... 4,000 DP. He's going to put an Alecmon, leaving his opponent at 2, but thanks to Kyrie, he's going to go up to 3. He's going to move from the nursing area. And then he's going to Digivolve for Angel Woman, which is going to give his Digimon security minus two. And 
And then he's going to Digivolve into Rise Greymon. Pop in the Elecmon. Leaving his opponent at a really bad spot right now. There's nothing he can really swing with for this turn. And they both have three security. Digivolve into Kabumon. Digivolve into Gorillamon for one. He's going to Digivolve by Odramon for three. And then he's going to hard cast a V-Mon for three. Leaving his opponent at four. Or leaving his opponent at three. And then obviously Kyrie putting him at four. He's going to Digivolve. He's going to swing a Rise Greymon. He's going to draw two. He's going to be drawing one of our Opamon's Inheritance. And he's going to be drawing one of our Agumon's Inheritance because he has three Tamers. He's also going to be playing Patamon. And he gets to play Patamon off uh, Andrew Woman's inheritance effect. Digivolve into Geogramma. Gonna put down another TK. TK is gonna allow him to add one card from his security stack, and if it's a yellow, he could add one from the top of his deck back to the stack. Opponent is gonna swing with Pyodramon. Being a jammer, not gonna care about what he hits. Then he's gonna swing with Vimon, also being a jammer, not caring about what he hits. Oh, and he has the blue Imperial Dramon standing both Vimon and Imperial Dramon back up. He's going to swing, and because of the inheritance, he's going to stand back up, guys. And he's going to swing again, and that's going to be game. And that's the end of it, guys. So, blue takes 2-0 against yellow Shine Greymon.